Hi, I'm Rich Artell. I'm a professor here in food engineering at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Uh, ice cream is an interesting uh, and probably one of the most complex uh, food materials there, there are. It's uh, a foam because we're aerating. It's a uh, dispersion because it's got ice crystals in there. Uh, it's an emulsion because they're fat globules. And in fact, we're going to break down those fat globules so they're uh, partially destabilized to help hold up the, the air cells. It's also uh, a micellar phase because the casings in, in the milk and the cream are in a micellar form. Uh, and it's also a solution. So there's dissolved sugars, dissolved uh, proteins from the milk, and dissolved salts as well. Ice cream mix is made with sugar, cream, a stabilizers to help uh, control the ice crystals, uh, and then we add emulsifiers to help control the fat globules. In order to call it ice cream, it has to have at least 10% fat. Uh, and that fat has to come from, from the cow, it has to be milk fat. In the homemade ice cream, we use brine as our refrigerant. We'll take salt and add that to ice and the salt depresses the freezing point of the ice, which lowers the temperature of this mixture uh, down below somewhere around minus 10 degrees centigrade or so, depending on how patient we are. This process has been running now for 45 or 50 minutes. It takes that long to freeze enough ice uh, to overcome the power of this motor uh, and shut this off. So now we've turned off the ice cream making machine. Uh, the ice cream is done to our satisfaction. Uh, now we're going to pour it into our containers and, uh, and harden it for the rest of the process. So if you were to eat this, uh, it would taste really good, but you can even see on the surface here that the ice crystals must be fairly large because it's not a smooth, dry texture. We're going to harden this. First, we're going to pour these into uh, containers here. For perspective purposes, uh, the ice crystals in our Babcock ice cream are on the order of 30 to 40 microns in size. These crystals on average are probably already on the order of 60 microns, and it's about 50 microns we can feel in our mouth. Uh, so once we harden these, they're gonna be about 70 to 80 microns, and very, very distinct in, in, uh, in, in characteristics. 